Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. And today I have the lovely Vanna White. Well, not really Vanna White, but this is Jamie, my assistant. And she'll be demonstrating things for me as we go through the trailer. And we're going to start off, we're going to be talking to you about the 2018 Imagine. This is the 2150 RB. This is by Grand Design. Now, model number is not indicative of length. And model number plus three feet isn't always the answer. This particular uh, trailer has a length of 26 foot 9 inches, tip to tip. Your uh, dry weight on this is about uh, 5,300 pounds, and you'll have a tongue weight just under 500 pounds for this particular one. You'll notice you have the power tongue jack on the front. You're going to have two 20 pound tanks, and of course, this does have the space for you to put two batteries on this as well. Now. This also will have, it, have a gross weight of just under 6,700 pounds. You can see on the side here, this is where you're gonna have your service center. So what you're gonna have is a 110 outlet at the top there. Nice thing with that is you're able to plug electrical things in here if you need to. Uh, you have your uh, hookups for your cable, or if you have satellite, you have to separate it from living room and the bedroom, as you can see. It's separate connections if you have satellite. Of course, you have the battery disconnect here your uh, water, this is where you're going to hook, hook up your uh, fresh water. And what you're able to do is, this particular thing is if you're going to be on city water, you have it pointing to city water. For tank fill, if you want to fill your fresh water tank, just turn it to that. And using this, it will fill your fresh water tank. Um, you also have an outside shower here. Now this can be used here, and there's another port where I'll show you. Now right now we have a sprayer head on there, but you can take that off and make that a shower head if you wish to. Um, but you're gonna have both hot and cold. Now you're probably saying, now where do I go ahead and bring my hose into here and my cable? And you can see that there's a little area down below that lifts up and you're able to bring it right up through here. Now something I recommend that you put there when you do that is get yourself some steel wool and fill that hole in with some steel wool and that keeps the critters from coming up into your camper. I recommend that you put the steel wool there even when you're not using it. As you can see, now look at the massive storage you have in here. And these things have sensor lights in here. So you see this light right here? It's a sensor light, and what you can set it where it's on automatically from uh, sensing motion. You can have it off or you can have it on all the time. And you have another one on the other side. 47 cubic feet of storage, the uh, most in the industry if you're looking around here. Notice how big the door is. The door is the same size on, same size on both uh, sides of it. So with that said, let's take a look on the front here again. You'll notice you have a molded fiberglass cap with the LED lights in it. And then of course you have the rock guard on the bottom. Moving along to the door side, you're going to notice of course your massive uh, length of the uh, electric awning with your LED light strip. Also notice that you have outside stereo speakers. Notice how that LED light strip is there. It's on the trailer. You know, there's different ways of doing that some some manufacturers will put that LED light strip in the tube then you can only use the LED lights when the awning is out being against the trailer you're able to use it without it without the awning being out this of course your furnace exhaust you have another 110 outlet now you can pour, uh, fill your fresh water tank here as well so you have two different ways of open, uh, filling that fresh water tank notice how your door has a magnet to hold it so you're able to, you don't have the plastic anymore to worry about. The other sprayer cord I was talking about is right here that you're able to use that for. Now, moving in the camper, what you're gonna notice as you come in the door is you have a nice little area here where you kick off your shoes and just, you know, leave them there so they're not in the way. You'll have a nice little coat hanger, storage up above that, and then this is your convenience center. So this is where you'll check all your levels, Turn your water heater on to your water pump, put your awning lights on, your ceiling light. Also, for your awning, extending, retracting, and your, um, your slide out. So that's all right here. Now, your water heater on this particular one is a Atwood water heater. That'll give you six gallons of hot water if you're using just the electric. Gives you a little over uh, 10, almost 11 gallons on the propane, but both of them together gives you just about 18 gallons an hour. So now we're going to talk about 
the bathroom on this particular one. Notice how they're pocket doors. And see, the nice thing with a pocket door is it's not in the way when they're open or closed. And also, notice how much wider the opening is. Now, also, you're going to notice with this bathroom, this is the rear bath. Look at how large that countertop is. Plenty of space. The outlet's in the right place there for you. GFI protected. You have a nice drawer there to store things. And then, of course, look at how massive this area of storage is under the sink. Lots of room. And then, of course, you do have your medicine cabinet above. See that? So you're going to have, of course, in the ceiling, you have your AC duct. You have a vent up on top. You're going to have storage back behind here for your uh, towels or whatever. And look at the window. And you can cover it up for privacy. You could open the window if you wanted to. Whatever works for you. This one has, of course, the porcelain toilet with the foot pedal. Notice you have a heat duct down there. And then this is a massive shower. This is a good size shower. It's, it's 30 by 36. And this one has a special imported Italian tile, of all things. And it's called Plastique. All right, so now the, the, this one has a shower curtain on it. And this one is, it's spring-loaded, as you can see. So you want to make sure you're holding on that when you when you're opening and closing that. So let's move into the living area. So you see the living area here. Now you see you have a table. So you use it, notice how it moves. It spins out of the way. So if you need to uh, do it different ways, you can. But now it does remove, let's show you how this bed opens up here. You can see that the table comes off very easily. The leg removes very easily. And of course you're gonna remove the two cushions for this. And this is a, what they call a tri-fold sofa. And it has its own legs on it. You know, and they're a little stiff when they're new. They do get a, a little bit better as you, as you use it. And then, of course, that mattress will fold down. Now, if you wanted to, you could put the cushions back in there uh, to make it more comfortable. But we're not going to do that here. Now, to put it away, just going to reverse things. Going to fold up the back. We're going to go ahead and pick that up. The legs will fold in. And it's just going to fold right back on in there. The cushions will go back in. And, you know, once you do it a few times, it becomes very second nature to you. Now, putting this table in again, if you, once you do it a few times, you're going to notice to be very, very easy. And you're able just to put it right on there. And it's good to go. Now, you also have some storage here on this lounge chair. Take a look at this storage here. So you have storage. You can put some things underneath there. And it does have struts on it where it'll hold it up for you. So that's storage there. Of course, moving in here. In the slide out, of course, you have your sofa there, your lounge chair. And then, of course, you have your refrigerator. Now, this refrigerator, it is both propane and electric, as you can see. And your settings... Are on the outside right there makes it very very simple it's all automatic and also notice how they give you some little um, um, some little safety measure here in in your um, refrigerator so you can keep your stuff from falling out of the shelf there while you're traveling which is nice now looking at the rest of the kitchen as you can see we have a counter extension there Nice thing with this counter extension, even with it up, even with it up, notice how we have plenty of room to get through to the bedroom. Okay? So now you have, uh, of course, nice large sink. Take a look at how large this sink is, folks. Nice thing is, some people like it, some people don't, but it's a one-piece sink. Nice thing about a one-piece sink is that you're able to, uh, you're able to clean your larger pots and pans. Notice how you have the outlets down on the wall. There's your GFI reset. Nice thing with that is that, you know, for those of you that drink coffee or have a blender, you're not having to worry about an extension cord. Then, of course, you have the cabinets up above. Plenty of space in there on both sides. And they have the nice glass fitting. Notice also, you can, of course, you have your microwave. You're going to have your, um, you're going to have your three burner cooktop. And, of course, this has the oven. And then, of course, you have drawers there. And then over on this particular side, you can see that you have storage here. Now, this could be your pantry. It also has a removable shelf here. 
if you wanted to because you do have a, a hanger in there. So that is that. Notice how, notice how your stereo and the TV are directly across from the sofa. The TV does move out and swivel. But now the stereo, it is an AM FM CD stereo with a DVD player and it's Bluetooth. So that is the kitchen area. I'm just going to give you kind of a, a brief uh, view of, of what this area looks like now. So you can see, give you a better look at the whole area. I like the way they do the colors. You know, you got the nice light floor and the dark cabinetry. Looks very, very nice. So now we're going to move into the, the master bedroom. Now the master bedroom also has a pocket door. Look at how wide that door is. And the nice thing is, so when, if you want the privacy, you can pull it across and it gives you the privacy. But if, see, if you're leaving it open, it's not in anybody's way. This is a true 60 by 80 queen bed. And you're going to notice that you have the storage on the other side. You're going to have this on both sides. So you have a cabinet inside, you have a drawer down below. And then, of course, you're going to have the storage up above, which is a full pass-through there. Notice how you have two, two lights above the bed behind there. Nice padding. And then, of course, you're going to have the storage under the bed like most do. You see plenty of storage. Now, with that up, you can see actually you're going to have a 110 outlet on that side. But on this side of the bed, you're going to have a 110 outlet and two USB ports. Which, you know, that is the way the industry is going. So this, again, is the 2150RB, and it is quite the coach if you're looking for something short. Now, in here, you do have an area where you can put a TV, and you do have a vent in here as well. Notice how your antenna, it's not one of those antennas where you got to worry about putting up and putting down. This is the King, the King Jack antenna. So, again, folks, I appreciate you watching. Appreciate the assistance from uh, Jamie here. And if you stop by, if you call, if you email, make sure that you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. And for any questions, if you have any, uh, any other questions on this particular RV or any others, please remember to ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again soon.